Alright, what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. Yeah, I'm going to talk about, uh, I saw on 60 Minutes last last uh, night, if you will, uh, after me and my partner were watching uh, the football game uh, on TV, which uh, our team lost. But anyway, 60 Minutes, uh, I got to laugh at this one. Uh, what's his name? Scott Pelley or whatever. And then a woman, the Facebook uh, whistleblower. Phoniest bunch of damn bullshit I've ever seen in my life, I think. I'm pretty pretty much think the woman wants attention. She wants public attention. She probably uh, wants a book deal and eventually a movie deal. Yeah, who the hell, what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, get some person that, uh, with actor that plays a bad guy on movies, would you like to, to get to play uh, Zuckerberg? Uh, sarcastically let's like have a sarcastic joke yeah say if they wanted to give her a movie deal or a book deal i think the what damn woman's calling for censorship the so-called whistleblower and don't get me wrong i don't want any social media having like with people complaining about all these bots and shit there's like like bots all over the place or whatever and i don't condone any kind of shit like uh that shit happened with the so-called uh, capital riot that wasn't gonna they weren't gonna solve anything with that and they weren't gonna find anything but i didn't care for how they were publicizing that well they're talking she's talking about that shit and, but what about all the uh people that were using facebook which i seen and took pictures of um the people that were using to incite and encourage like vandalism over over the other kind of bullshit like the george floyd shit which i don't condone either that a cop could have did better and took the guy in, but there was a lot of shit that I've seen and took pictures of too. A lot of people, yeah, the Capitol right there, uh, publicizing that or whatever. You don't want anybody inciting anything with anything with the nature of the Capitol riot. You don't want anybody encouraging or inciting shit like that either, or doing anything to federal property or public property. I sh personally wouldn't want any part of that shit. Um, uh, there are a lot of people that would be uh, rolling on each other so they don't go to federal prison, maybe get probation or get a couple months or something or get house arrest. You know, that that people roll on each other when the shit comes down. Or I don't uh, deal for the Antifa bullshit that they were doing in uh, these other cities like freaking uh, Seattle or Portland or whatever going around doing vandalism maybe way before this George Floyd shit came. All YouTube videos, all, all kind of YouTube videos about Antifa and all them fuckers out there. But then after all the George Floyd shit, everybody on call kind of, what about them, all them people on Facebook I seen with my own eyes, took pictures of them and sent it to my friends, uh, encouraging uh, vandalism of public property and of people's businesses. And that shit all over the news. People calling for that, I ain't into that either. But you don't see anybody bitching about that. But uh, the damn uh, people like the damn woman over there on uh, 60 Minutes wanting public attention. She takes these papers, whistleblower and all that shit. She calling for censorship. I'm not calling for censorship, but I don't want uh, bunches of people on any side inciting any kind of bullshit that uh, you can get traced and go to jail for either. Don't get me wrong. But all the fucking shit is uh, one-sided. I think the uh, the woman is probably underpaid, probably, and she probably thinks she's underpaid or underappreciated. And she's probably somebody that's calling for censorship. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, it's a big joke. It's all one-sided.